Hello, it's Jason Pan for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, at the beautiful master plan community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. I absolutely love this town and this community. The house behind me is being built for one of my clients. This is the 216 plan built by Highland Homes. Still under construction, but I want to show it anyways. Let's go check it out. All right, this house just finished framing and uh, insulation is going up, but I like to do videos at this stage of the uh, construction process because this is the only time this house will ever look like that. And I want my clients to be able to see what that house looks like at that particular time. If you're interested in this uh, community at all, um, interest property tax rate is uh, 2.52. It has gone down a little bit. That does include uh, water uh, capture plan that they have in this community and the HOA fees are 770 a year and if you haven't seen my amenities tour of the community definitely check it out. This house is built by Highland Homes. God they build a gorgeous home. This one is almost 3,000 square feet, four bedroom and a three car garage. All right let's go check it out. All right that door was tied shut so I had to walk around but magic of editing, it still is gonna look great. All right, coming in, you can see this beautiful arches down the main hallway. It's gonna be super cool. I can't wait to see what finished out. But you're gonna have a really big office right up front. Lots of light, and once again, you see that arch theme still carried through until they are putting up the insulation. But yeah, if you're putting a desk in, this kind of be your view coming out your French doors and being able to see into the one of the secondary bedrooms. All right, let's check out the secondary bedroom right up in the front corner of the house. Once again, arch window, tall ceilings in this house. Insulation is in the process of going up. This house, this room will have its own sink as you see here. And there's a big closet, kind of a little mini walk-in closet. And there'll be a door where you're gonna have a shared tub and a shared, well, the toilet's gonna be, oh, the toilet's probably gonna be right in here underneath all this insulation. All right, because this other room's gonna have its own sink as well. And really good sized room. Once again, tall ceilings. And this is their closet so it's gonna be a really good size closet as well i know this place is kind of messy building a house is a messy process all right let's go back out into the main hallway because there's a room on the other side that i definitely want to show you this is uh what highlands calling their big entertainment room so you can essentially make this room your own movie theater it's a large room plenty of space to have uh Set up your projector if you want to, your couch, entertainment space. But it's hard to see, but you can tell there's a lot of space to be able to do whatever you want in this room. It can be super cool. Excited for my clients to see how it turns out. All right, coming back down the hall. Coming into the main living space. And good gosh, there's a lot of space in here. What you're seeing here is the kitchen. Once again, this can be a beautiful arch up top. You're gonna have your sink over on this side and here's gonna be a big, beautiful island in this main space. And uh, more cabinet space over here. And you can see this is where your cooking cooktop will be in this whole area right there. This will be eventually the pantry. And uh, let's go ahead and look at, we haven't shown off the garage yet. So let's go out into the garage. I mentioned this is a three car garage. This can be a tandem style where you're gonna have a vehicle back to back with each other for the tandem. Or if you only got two vehicles, oh my gosh, this is an amazing workspace if you wanna use this space for that. Once again, really tall. And if you have just two vehicles, you got plus plenty of space for two vehicles. And then your water heater and plumb for water softener back over here in the corner. All right, let's pretend we're coming in here from the garage entrance. Right when you come around, we can either go into the kitchen 
or down this little hallway. There's gonna be a door right here going into the master bedroom closet, but we'll showcase that a little bit later. But there's another bedroom tucked away on the side, which is a really nice sized bedroom. Gonna have a good closet right here. And this bedroom's gonna have its own full bath located in it. You can tell we've got eight foot doors in this house. <coughs> but yeah, this is gonna be a really nice bathroom once it's all said and done. It's like they got this extra insulated in the bathroom. But in this little space here, according to the plans, this could be a storage room, but it looks like my clients are making this an extra powder room. Which is really nice because, yeah, if you've got your guests wanting to go to the bathroom, you just send them down this little hallway here and uh, they'll be away from everybody else. But yeah, this is gonna be a beautiful space. Like I said, super tall ceilings. You see they've got the radiant barrier up. Uh, this space we're looking right here. What are they calling it? They're calling it something a little odd. They call it the keeping room. I don't know what a keeping room is, but you can do whatever you want to with it. This is designated for like your formal dining room space. It's gonna be really nice. And this is gonna be main living room space right here. Lots and lots of space. Big old wall where you can put whatever you want to on it. And this could be a really nice place just for entertaining. You're gonna have a view of the kitchen. Just really gorgeous. And as I'm filming this, I realize I haven't done a lot of videos lately. I've been sick for a while and I'm finally getting my voice back. So that's why I haven't done too many videos. But yeah, this is the back patio. Once again, really tall. That's gonna be blocked for a ceiling fan. But good size patio is already gonna be plumb for natural gas. And if you're looking at where the fence line is from the neighbor's house, it's probably gonna continue on up to that fence line there. So wide lot, I wouldn't say it's a deep lot, but plenty of space in here to do whatever you want to do. And yes, eventually there will be a house behind you. They're just not there yet. But wow, those are some tall, tall windows. All right, I just wanna point out before we go check out the master bedroom. We do already have one broken window. Don't worry, they will fix it. Uh, I just kind of consider that good luck if you have a broken window because yeah, it's hard to build a house without breaking a window. All right, let's head on inside to the master bedroom and check it out. Like I said, that insulation, that's the guy, he was out there working right now, but wow, this is a big, master bedroom or as they call it the primary suite lots and lots of space in here it's gonna be really tall vaulted ceiling love this little extra space kind of bumped out adding a lot of light with these really tall windows so yeah if you want to catch some sun you can definitely get some in this little space all right into the master bath or the primary suite bath <clears throat> big garden tub is going to be there. You're going to have your water closet tucked up in the front part. Dual vanities right over here. And interesting, uh, this looks like it's going to be just kind of blocked off. So you're going to have a little cavity with nothing in there. Just so my own homeowners know what's behind that wall. Nothing. But this is going to be eventually uh, some counter space in here. And see, we've got plenty of electrical outlets coming into uh, the shower right here. You do have a nice size mud set shower. Mud set means they've cut into the concrete for that step down. And you got your shower head right there. It's going to be really nice. And I kind of like the fact that they're going to have the shower controls away from the shower head. So you don't have to step into the shower to... Uh, and find out all of a sudden that surprise with water still cold, you can wait for it a little bit. All right, here's the master bedroom closet. It's a really good size master bedroom closet. Once again, it's two super tall ceilings, even in the master bedroom closet. And this is that door that I kind of pointed out that goes out 
uh, into the main hallway. So if you needed to sneak out, you could. And your big Bio. power, where everything's going to be funneled into your Ethernet ports, uh, all electrical uh, tech stuff can all go right in here. All right, let's head on outside the master bedroom. And I can't wait to see how gorgeous this house turns out to be. And love the community, love how the amenities in here. And Bernie, Texas, oh my gosh, if you want a place with some amazing school districts, Bernie, Texas is definitely it. Uh, you still got easy access to a lot of world-class shopping. Just a 20-minute drive down I-10 to the Lock and Terror Shopping District. So you got Texas Hill Country in Bernie, but easy access to the higher-end stuff in that part of San Antonio. All right, that's going to do it for this new construction follow-up tour of a house built by Highland Homes. Remember, this is the 216 Alpha Plan. Houses can be absolutely gorgeous. And here's part of the video where I ask you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know somebody moving to the Texas Hill Country area, if you're looking for a real estate agent that does a lot of videos like this, especially during the build process, please reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description box. And on the final slide of the screen, we'll also have my information on it. All right. Talk to you soon and take care now. Bye-bye.